round and wrinkled, yellow and green, purple and white, all move separately from each other. Well, this is because they were indeed on separate chromosomes. And so we have a very nice pattern that results. But the point is, he was able to come to the principle of independent assortment. So from the monohybrid cross, we got segregation. The principle of independent assortment is saying, yes, segregation happens, but each trait does so independently of the other trait. So the principle of independent assortment states that in our language of meiosis and chromosomes, during meiosis one, chromosome alignment is random on the metaphase plate such that these chromosomes can segregate from each other independently of other factors. So when we do take a look at meiosis, we can see that it's this random alignment of chromosome pairs on the metaphase plate of meiosis one that really support Mendel's principle of independent assortment. Again, each pair segregates from each other independently of the next pair because they align randomly on the metaphase plate where we could have all the blue ones on one side, all the red ones on the other side, or some shuffling of that same layout where we're just having two separate from each other. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.